Police say on any given night inside this apartment, poker chips towered over the tabletops in denominations of $1 to $5,000. And on any one of the poker tables, at least $8,000 might be in play. Police say a major organized crime operation of gaming was running inside the Southside apartment. And I didn't know anything. I knew something was going on, but I didn't know what was going on. Let's put it like that. Ronnie Jones Grant lives opposite that apartment where James Lyons is suspected of running his business. You could tell something was not kosher over there just by the different crowd of people. It was just all different types of people that just didn't look like it was the right blend, you know what I'm saying? She says all the people hanging around bothered her. And I would see young people, then I would see old people, I would see black people, I would see white people. But what bothered her most was the other crime that might come along with this one. Those type of things do lift, um, lead up to bigger things, just like with the guys coming in and breaking down the doors. That's how this operation was busted. The suspected gamer was forced to call police when at least three men robbed him and all his customers at gunpoint. They took more than $7,000 total. In the end, it was one crime that brought down another. On the South Side, Kristen Smith, First Coast News, your news leader.